Dr. Jennifer Schneider. I'm so glad that we could sit down and, and catch up and learn about what you're working on. You know, I want to start by just getting you to reflect a little bit about the, over the last couple of years. You were, the, you were the president and CMO of Livongo, seeing it through a really historic IPO. Uh, and you've had this period of time over the last couple of years to uh, take a breath, reflect on all of that. And it, what are some of the high level lessons that you feel like you've been thinking about last year? Yeah, so thank you for the question. Um, so at the time that we uh, did the merger we, um, with, at, at Livongo, um, I left and I um, joined General Catalyst as an executive in residence. Um, and my time there, I had a chance to take a breath in. I wouldn't say rest, but I would say take a, a different breath in yeah. and really focus on um, identifying what are the broken pieces and parts of healthcare and mm -hmm. how do we actually go and tackle those. What did we learn at Livongo? What did we get right? More importantly, what did we not finish? Okay. Or what did we get wrong? Okay. Um, and again, I think what at Livongo, we did a beautiful job of creating an incredible team that was very mission driven. And we really did empower people with chronic conditions to live better and healthier lives. And at the same time, I think we failed to really cross the chasm into a service. So this idea around technology mm. and service, that was the vision at the time of the merger, but that did not happen uh, or has not yet happened since the, since the merger. Uh, it, unpack that for me, the, the idea of moving into service. Yeah, so I think that, that digital health com care components are incredibly important because they allow for capture of data in an ecosystem. So somebody's home, you could be wearing a blood pressure cuff and we can know your blood pressure or check your blood glucose and we can know what that is. And we could send messages back to you. At Livongo, we had ability to actually have a somebody on call when you were hit in a time of crisis. But the goal, the moving forward goal, is actually to integrate that more into care providers, into prescribers, into people that could see trends over time, long periods of time, and look more holistically at your care. Uh, have you thought about just the process of innovation? You know, what was it about the time at Livongo that maybe kept you from, from going there, that maybe as you stepped back and you were with General, General Catalyst, you were able to see things a little differently, maybe see it at a higher level? Like, Maybe you could speak to that process of innovation. Yeah, I think that you know, the process of innovation, we did a beautiful job of showing how powerful and impactful digital health could be. Mm. We could drive clear clinical outcomes, and that was a first in the industry, really clearly and confidently be able to demonstrate that. And then in my time at General Catalyst, I spent time along with Haymont and some uh, other co-founders for our new, new company, thinking through how could we actually transition that work of digital health into something bigger and broader? How could we actually work to align economic incentives in parts of the ecosystem that really needed it? And that's what led us to Homeward, which is really addressing care in rural markets. Okay. And so people who live in a rural market, and that's 20% of Americans, so 60 million people live in rural markets, and they have a 23% higher mortality. Wow. And the number of primary care physicians are half of what they are in urban markets. The number of specialists are one eighth of what they are in urban markets. So how do we align economic incentives and use technology to enable the extent or the reach of these services? Okay. How can we do that to del deliver better care in a totally cost efficient model? Okay. So how do you do it? What are some well, concrete uh, ways that's, to do that, it? That, so, so Homeward is an in-network technology enabled provider. Uh -huh. And we deliver care to, uh, to Medicare beneficiaries. Okay. And we contract and partner with payers, and we take the responsibility for that total cost of care. So we okay. say, in this market, give okay. us your population. It's a value-based model, and because there's very few providers in the rural ecosystem, we are have to leverage technology to extend okay. the reach. We also partner with existing people in the ecosystem. Okay. As I like to say, when access is the problem, if your business model is to come in and outcompete somebody, that's not a very good business no. model. But we come in and we partner with existing providers and existing community resources. That makes sense. Uh, tell me sort of concretely the work that you propose to do with Homeward through the care journey of a real person. Sort of paint me a picture of a, of a patient in a rural setting and how they'd interact with Homeward. Sure, so let's say that you live in a rural setting, you're 70 years old, and the closest physician to you is three hours away. What do you think the chances of you going to see that physician a couple times a year are? Mm. Pretty small, yeah. right? 
And by the way, because you're 70, you have three chronic conditions. You have hypertension, you struggle with depression, and you have some congestive heart failure. So instead, we say, we're able to take care of you. We're able to do that because we can drive a van up to your house to measure your blood pressure, yeah. to check some labs in your house, to give you a blood pressure cuff and a scale. And then we leave and we're able to see where your values are. Is your weight going up or down? Is your blood pressure staying stable or not? Yeah. Let's say your weight goes up and your blood pressure rises. Well, we can telephone you back and have you increase your diuretic yeah. and manage your care over in, in for you in the comfort of your home and keep you out of the hospital and out of the emergency room. The inverse would be you'd be home, not seeing anybody. All of a sudden, your legs swell. You can't breathe, so you rush to the hospital. Yeah. Right? Not a great experience for you. Not a cost-efficient care and in lower quality. You know, we're here at an event talking about health innovation, but a trend that I keep hearing is the importance of making the interventions uh, simple so that they can be, so the utilization is high and folks don't have these multiple techno te technological barriers to care. So I do feel like that simplicity piece is a key to Homeward. It's a huge piece. And, you know, a lot of people have not entered into rural markets because they were scared of broadband, scared of needing Wi Fi, Got it. right? And our devices are cellular enabled. So all you have to do is step on the scale and we capture the data. All you have to do is put the blood pressure cuff on and we capture the data. So there's not a technology lift per se. We've worked really hard to understand the pain points of people and to, del to deliver solutions that fit seamlessly right into their lives. You have an op awesome opportunity now to lead a new company after having this really seminal experience. Are there ways that you know you're going to kind of evolve and change as a leader uh, at Homeward based off of things you learned at Livongo and at General Catalyst? Sure, I think you always take the good with you and the bad with you, uh -huh. right? And you try to replicate the good and replace the bad. That's true for kids when they reflect on their parents. I'm sure it's true for my own children. Um, and I think one of the things that we did really right and really well at Livongo was create an incredible team with a very mission-driven culture. And the team of founders that we have and founding team at Homeward is incredible. I feel very strong and very confident that we're on the right track. And I think there's a lot about our ability to get to scale that will benefit us as we go down the route. I do think this angle of value-based care and the angle of combining technology with services is something that will really benefit us at Homeward that we did not do at Livongo. Awesome. Dr. Schneider, thank you so much for taking the time with me. Thank you for just pushing on in this work and bringing care to some really vulnerable communities that don't have uh, access to healthcare the way they need it. So thank you. Thanks for the opportunity. All right. Have an awesome day. Thanks. Take care.